everyone welcome back to another video and in this video we are going to host our application on Netlify so I'm just gonna quickly go to Firefox so this is mostly you know web based things you don't actually need to code on this one so I'm gonna open Netlify netlify.com login login using github I'm already logged into GitHub, so it will directly do that. If not, it will ask you to, for permissions and everything, and then that is where you can, you know, authorize, and you will be able to log. Once you have logged in, you will see a page like this, and the sites, sites, everything will be empty here. So you've gone to add a new site, import an existing project, and then it will ask you from where do you want to import it. So I want to import it from GitHub, so I'm going to do that. It will open a new window asking you to authorize. I have already authorized, so that is fine. Then it will show you a list of all the repositories. So I have a lot of repositories, so I will search for it, which is crypto hyphen, no, sorry, crypto view hyphen project. So wait for it to load. And uh, after some time, it should show you. So whatever project you have, whatever repository you have, it will show that. Select that, you know, what you, which branch you want to apply, main, there is nothing here. And uh, everything else, publish command, build command, just, just leave it empty. We don't have anything for this project, we don't have anything. And just deploy site. Uh, wait for it to deploy, site deploy in progress, you can see here. Scroll down, building, processing, it will take a couple of seconds. You can actually click on this and it will show you whatever steps it was doing and just after a couple of seconds it will say site is live that is what we want and you go back to deploys you see this is the url of your project so if i open this it will open my crypto view project which is you know this and then search we take it to the search page select you know search for eth for example open that take say for example tether usdt and then load that data everything works completely fine but now this is hosted on netlify it is hosted online so that means i can put it on my resume i can share it with friends and i can do all sorts of things because if it was my local url then i couldn't do any of these things properly right so now it is hosted on the internet and i can share this url okay so um, that was it for this video. It's probably a really short video. I think, you know, less than five minutes. So it and even it took us a very, very little amount of time. You know, hardly one minute to deploy. And the best part is, as soon as I change something, as soon as I change any small thing, it will push directly and, you know, create a new deploy and update the site live. So that's one of the good things of Netlify. And yeah, that is it for this video. Next video is probably going to be on deploying the same project on GitHub pages. So that also I will cover. And uh, yep, thank you and bye-bye.